right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over how to replace the sunroof motor on my Cobalt. Um, it's been bad for a while. I just haven't got a chance to get it fixed. So I'll kind of show you how to do that. Let's go inside and I'll show you how this thing's acting. All right, inside my car, there's a switch here. This is what controls the sunroof. And I can open it. And as I open it, you can see it opens pretty good. But when you go to close it, look what happens. Hear that? My motor isn't engaging. So I need to replace it. So the only way I can fix that is if I push on the sunroof and uh, put the switch and I can get it to go in. But that's the only way I can get it to close. So we'll go over how to, how to uh, remove that. In the front here, we got to remove a, a screw here. We've got to remove these screws that go here on the visors. We've got to take this off. We've got to remove these screws and that A pillar thing here. And we've got to remove this. And then we can get in here to this motor area and we can replace it. All right, let's go ahead and remove this visor. So now I'll take you a look in here and we'll I'll show you where the motor's at. You can see the motor right there. Now you have access to it. I guess we don't need to remove the A-pillars. I'm not sure what size that is, but it looks like maybe an eight millimeter. Okay, this is my new motor here. I just kind of want to show it to you. So you can uh, maybe get some part numbers off of it if you need it. This is a new motor and this is the box. That it came in As you can see it's an AC Delco part I'm gonna go ahead and remove these three screws that hold this motor in up here and then I'll show you what what it looks like and maybe what the problem is with this motor so I'm gonna take it out right now all right so once you get those screws out the motor just pops out and you pop this down and then you uh, unclip this uh, connector here all right now that you got your new motor you go ahead and connect it here it's kind of hard to film do it at the same time but you get the idea you connect it there you put your three screws back up in here you move that put that back in place where that was there's also a clip that came with the motor this little clip right here and you got to snap that in there and that's all there is to it okay now we got this back in here we got the connector back on and punched up the top there that hole the connector that holds it up there and then you have this wire here that goes inside this little clip here and now before we put it all back together let's give it a try and see if it's going to work Now for the moment of truth. Oh, that's awesome. 
this time of the year here in Arizona, you definitely want a sunroof. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together, and you can watch me do that. All right, once the molding's back on, then I recommend you uh, take some cleaner up here. I mean, I try to keep my hands clean when I work on this, but you can see you get a little bit of this, and I'll show you what to use to kind of clean your headliner. It's called Tough Stuff. It's like a carpet cleaner. It's kind of what I recommend for cleaning your headliner here. You got to be kind of careful with the headliner. You don't want to get them too wet. They're really kind of temperamental, especially out here in Arizona because everything's been really hot. So that's what I kind of just sprayed on a little bit, got a clean rag, and then wipe it off. All right, now we got the headliner clean and it's looking good. It's time to open this thing up and take it for a cruise and use it for what it's designed for. In Arizona, this is a great thing to have. So anyway, hopefully this video was helped you out if you had a problem with your sunroof I wasn't sure what was wrong with my sunroof and uh, I kind of took a guess on it and figured out that that probably was it that's probably the probably what it would be was that motor so hope they help you out if you're here for the first time watching for the first time please like and subscribe We'll be doing more videos on how to fix this car. I'm sure there will be a few more things. And we'll talk to you next time.